Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today in this video we will discuss 20 important questions from physics which are important for your MBBS and engineering in trans preparation. Now let us see our first question, order of penetrating power of alpha, beta and gamma particle is. We know that the particle having maximum size or maximum mass will have less penetrating power and gamma is charge less and mass less. So, it should have maximum penetrating power, but that is in option choice A and D. A and D shows that maximum penetrating power for gamma, but alpha particle should have minimum penetrating power because of its more mass that is in option choice D. Here it is gamma and then alpha and then beta maximum penetrating power is for gamma and then beta and then alpha. So, option choice D is the correct answer for question number 1. Now, let us see question number 2. Order of ionizing power of alpha, beta and gamma is ionizing power of alpha, beta and gamma is just opposite of penetrating power. So, here more mass more size means it has more ionizing power that is uh, the option choice A is the correct answer alpha has maximum ionizing power and then beta and then gamma. Question number 3 cathode rays are we know that cathode rays are not a positive ions, they are not positrons, they are not neutrons, they are simply moving electrons, fast moving electrons. So, option choice A is the correct answer for question number 3. Question number 4, kinetic energy of proton accelerated by 1 volt is. We know that the electron volt is, electron volt is the kinetic energy gained by a particle having charge E within a in a supply applied potential difference V here a proton, a proton has charge 1 E and it is applied it 1 volt of uh, potential difference. So, 1 E V is the required answer for question number 4, 1 E V is in option choice C. So, option choice of oh sorry option choice C is the correct answer for question number 4, kinetic energy of proton accelerated by 1 volt is 1 electron volt. Question number 5, quantum theory gives the concept of quantum theory gives the concept of photon that is in option choice B. Option choice B is the right answer uh, for question number 5. Question number 6, work done in carrying an electron across a potential difference of 10 volt is. Here an electron means again we have charge 1 E when it is applied to 10 volt we will get its work done. In fact, 1 electron volt or electron volt is unit of work done. If we multiply electron volt, then we will get dimension of joule that is of the work done or we can say energy, kinetic energy. 1 electron volt is equal to 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 19 joule. So, for this uh, for this uh, question, 10 electron volt is the right answer that is in option choice C. Question number 7, the ratio of charge to mass of a proton to an alpha particle is equal to. Here charge to mass ratio is called specific charge for proton, uh, for proton specific charge of proton is charge of proton divided by mass of proton. At first we need to calculate this and then again we need to calculate the mass uh, charge to mass ratio of uh, this alpha particle charge of alpha particle is twice E and mass of alpha particle is 4 times mass of proton. If we solve this E and E will cancel, MP and MP will cancel, this will give 2 to the 4. On solving this we will get our answer, answer is option choice A, 2 is the right answer for question number 7, charge to mass ratio of proton to alpha particle is 2. Question number 8, cyclotron is used to accelerate. This is not in your syllabus of class 12, but you should know because this has been asked in entrance examinations. Cyclotron is used to accelerate positive ions. Cyclotron is used to accelerate positive ions. Question number 9, dimension of Planck's constant is. Before knowing dimension of Planck's constant, we should know what is the unit of Planck's constant. We write E is equal to HF. This is E and we can calculate the unit of E energy, uh, energy that is joule uh, that uh, you can calculate the dimension of E as well. Here you have, you have is 1 by T, 1 by T. So, uh, H will be joule second, unit of H will be joule second. If you calculate dimension of joule and then multiply with T, 
that is dimension of second then we will get dimension of Planck's constant that will be m l to the power 2 t to the power minus 1. So, option choice A is the correct answer for Planck's constant. The corresponding dimension of joule second is m l to the power 2 t to the power minus 1. Dimension of angular momentum. Angular momentum is the last two term of momentum and last term of angular r that is m v r this is the angular momentum. Now, we can calculate dimension of m v and r and if we multiply that we will get m l to the power 2 and t to the power minus 1. In fact, dimension of angular momentum and dimension of Planck's constant are same. Dimension of Planck's constant and angular momentum are same. Question number 11, the angular momentum of electron revolving in third orbit is angular momentum of electron revolving <coughs> excuse me angular momentum of electron revolving in third orbit is we know that from Bohr's postulates angular momentum is integral multiple of angular momentum it is denoted L it is n h by 2 pi the formula is n h by 2 pi this n is the orbit in which it is removing here it is saying that third orbit means your answer should be 3 s by 2 pi because it is saying that angular momentum of third orbit third orbit mean n should be 3 so 3 s by 2 pi 3 s by 2 pi is in option choice a so a is the correct answer for question number 11 question number 12 the lyman series lies in you should know in which series the lyman balmer pascal bracket and pfeffer series lies for this ultraviolet rays is the right answer for question number 12 the Lyman series lies in ultraviolet rays. Question number 13 in helium Leon laser the wavelength of laser is in helium Leon laser the wavelength of laser is 632.8 Armstrong there is an option choice D this is Armstrong this is nanometer this are nanometer so option choice D is the correct answer for question number 13. Question number 14 electrons are discovered by electrons are discovered by J. J. Thompson. So, option choice A is the correct answer for question number 14. Question number 15 protons are discovered by protons are discovered by Rutherford. So, option choice B is the correct answer for question number 15. Question number 16 Newtons are discovered by Newtons are discovered by James Chadwick. So, James Chadwick option choice C is the correct answer for question number 16. Question number 17, which of the following are chargeless? Neutrons, gamma rays, yox rays all are chargeless. So, they are not deflected by electric and magnetic field. Chargeless substances or chargeless particle are never be deflected from electric and magnetic field. So, for question number 17, the right answer is all of them all of them are charged less. Question number 18 speed of cathode rays is speed of cathode rays is one tenth of velocity of light one tenth of velocity of light it is the speed of cathode rays. Question number 19 Millikan in his experiment of well drop uses Millikan in his experiment of well drop uses clock well option choice C is the right answer for question number 19 clock well. Question number 20 the specific charge of an electron is a specific charge of electron is 1.76 into 10 to the power uh, 11 coulomb per kg. Uh, for this we should know E and M the value of E is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 and value of M is 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31. On solving this we will get uh, 1.76 into 10 to the power 11 coulomb per kg. Thank you very much. All the best for your entrance examinations.